So guys, I'm really happy this Monday morning. If we pull the numbers up to give you a look at what took place over the weekend, we had a total of 26 sales come through, $1,100 worth of revenue. You take out the fees, the post, the cost of goods, guys, it was a $600 profit weekend. And if you caught my last video, I was hosting a garage sale and a flea market. So to be able to see 1100 bucks come through on my eBay store is some pretty cool stuff. I'm gonna take you through the 26 items that sold over the weekend. And there was one item in there that I picked up at a flea market for $15 and I'll convert it into 120 bucks, so stick around for that. Uh, I also wanna talk about the benefits of having a social media profile as a reseller. There's some huge benefits for it. I'm gonna show you a case example of what I'm talking about in this video today, so stick around for that as well. It's a massive one. Hopefully you enjoy it. Smash the like button, consider hitting the subscribe button. We'll kick things off with the DVDs. Well guys, it's always nice to see a full table of media on a Monday morning. We've got a total of 11 sales here, uh, $225 in revenue. It works out to an average sale price of $20 each, which I just think is fantastic. If we kick things off over here, I've got a really good DVD, Throw Your Mama From The Train. I've sold this one a number of times, $17.50. Would have only paid a dollar for it in a thrift, so that was a good turnaround. Uh, drag Me To Hell, this one here, this Blu-ray, uh, brand new and sealed, which always helps as well. We've got a $17.50 sale price on that one there. You may have remembered a few weeks ago, Dawson's Creek, The Journey. We picked this one up in a trip to the thrift. Well, I ended up getting a $45 sale price, but I did have to pay up for it with a $16.50 purchase price. So we've only made a few dollars there. Won't speak too much around this, just a $10 sale on the three-peat uh, movie sit set that we had there. Some video games, guys, pretty typical around $15 to $20. We had Skyrim, The Elder Scrolls V. This one here sold for $21.38 on a best offer at 5% discount. Also had Shrek's Carnival Craze. That one sold for $14.50, which is pretty typical for me for video games. And then we had the Ramones Anthology. That one there sold for $13. So the CDs always turning over pretty quickly. Now I'll put this one separately, guys, because this was actually a bundled purchase. Somebody, I believe a viewer of the channel as well, has come through and made these four purchases. So thank you very much for your support. We've got Alanis Morissette, we've got Aerosmith, we've got Def Leppard as well as a DVD. And then we've got the Eagles that you would have seen me pick up in Thursday's trip to the thrift. That one sold for $35. And then the rest of them all added up, worked out to $86.00. And 80 cents, including postage. So for four items, 86 bucks, I thought that was great. So guys, $225 in the media department. After a few slow weeks, it's good to be back. Well guys, I love talking about my shoes and we've had a total of $255 come through this weekend in a total of four sales. So that works out to an average sale price of $63 per pair. The first one I've got for you here are the Zoom Kigers, the Nikes. Really good pair of shoes, these ones, in excellent condition. They're a US size eight, and we've got a $55 sale price on these ones here, which is, I think is fantastic, considering I only paid a few dollars for them in the thrift store. So that was a really good one there. Uh, these ones as well, we've got the Asics Gel Sonoma 3s. These are a bit of a hybrid hiking shoe. You can see the word Gore-Tex there. That just means high-end. It means just premium top-end. Uh, I listed it up for 70, but I actually took a best offer in the end at $55. So look, never complaining when I get my money in the end. So 55 bucks on these ASICs, um, a really good pair of shoes for you guys to be finding. Uh, these ones as well, another pair of ASICs guys. I've shot myself in the foot here over the few weeks that we had this one listed up because I actually put the wrong size in the title. I put it in the item specifics correct, but the title was incorrect. So that's why this one ended up having 14 watches on it before somebody finally connected the dots and bought these. So we got a $60 sale price, the full asking price, um, really good pair of footy boots, the ASICs. Uh, these are the Lethal Legacies. Uh, so do look out for those next time you see them in the thrift yourself. And then these ones, guys, an unbelievable brand, the Ultra Running Shoes, huge over in the US. This one was a domestic sale here in Australia. We got an $85 sale price on this one here. I can't remember exactly how many shoes it was that I bought as a bundled deal off Facebook Marketplace, but I've spent $500 and I'm well into the thousands of dollars worth of profit on this brand of running shoe. Always good when you're buying in the brand new and I'm getting an average sale price for this brand of anything between 80 to $100. So nice to get the turnaround there on that one. Uh, there it is, guys. The shoes, $63 average sale price. How good is that? Now, guys, if you watch my trip to the thrift video on Thursday, there may be some familiar items for you in this little mix here. We've had some really quick turnarounds on some really good items of clothing. The first one that I've got is this one right here. We've got the Ralph Lauren 100% linen men's uh, pants. And these ones were an awesome find for $5 in the thrift. And we ended up getting a $37.50 sale price on those there. Sold the same day that I listed them. This is a real bread and butter winner that I'll always pick up, guys. Just a pair of Levi Strauss uh, men's casual shorts, 40 waist. 
Uh, we got a $30 sale price on those there. So just, just, just some real quick profit. Uh, happy with that. This one as well, how nice are these? We've got some vintage Billabong jeans, guys. And uh, a huge thank you to a viewer of the channel that told me to go high end on these with my listing price. I ended up getting a $69.95 sale price and I only paid the $9 in the thrift for them. So that was fantastic. And here's a brand for you guys to be looking out for, Nudie Jeans. These are an awesome grab in the thrift. It was about a couple of weeks ago now that I bought them. These are the Lean Deans. Uh, we got a $60 sale price on those ones there. So guys, some big money coming through in the clothing category. It's making me think I should focus on it again. The success in the clothing category also continued with the tops, guys. I wanted to take you through a few of these. You might remember the Tommy Bahama short sleeve men's button-up shirt. I picked this up for $5 in a thrift store in Thursday's video just two days ago, and we've already got a $30 sale price on this one, plus $20 worth of international postage off to the USA. So Tommy Bahama, you absolutely cannot go wrong. This one here as well, an awesome vintage Brisbane Lions 2001 Premiership t-shirt. I tried to list this one up for 65 bucks. It sat around for a little bit, had a lot of watches on it. In the end, I took a best offer at 50 bucks for this one here. They're going to be playing some pretty good footy in the AFL this year, so that one was a really good find as well. Uh, this one as well, guys, this one I kind of neglected for a little while. It was a, a Stockyard uh, RM Williams long sleeve shirt. It was a size small, which I don't normally source nowadays, uh, but we did get the full price of $39.95, I think, in the end for this one. So that was an awesome turnaround. Uh, it did take a long time to sell though, but to get 40 bucks for it was excellent. And sticking with the theme of RM Williams, because it is just such a great brand. I've got a women's uh, collared polo shirt here, striped pink and black. Really love the look of this one in the thrift. I paid $10 for it a few weeks back in a trip to the thrift video as well. Uh, we got a $35 sale price on this one here. So look, it was four tops and shirts that we had come through in the clothing, plus the four that I showed you before outside. It was about $375 worth of clothing this weekend, and that worked out to actually over $40 worth of an average sale price. So I was kind of blown away by that. We also had the best board game in the world sell as well over the weekend, guys. If you don't know about this on eBay, well, now you do. The Logo board game, it sells in a really quick space of time and you always get a pretty top dollar for it. I uh, bought this one for $5 in a thrift store and we've sold it for 30 bucks, which is pretty typical. You generally get about 30 to $35 in this and uh, it sells light and quick. So nice to get another one. Probably sold about 10 of these now, out the door. Really excited about this sale, guys. The Bratz dolls. These are the boys, uh, the Bratz boys. Um, they've ended up selling for $120. It sold as a set of six, and here they are here, just really vintage uh, 1990s uh, Bratz dolls. And if you don't know about that, definitely look out for these if you can find them in op shops, uh, garage sales, or flea markets, um, because you can generally get about $20 to $30 a piece for these ones here. I was very fortunate in a flea market a few months back that I was able to find about six of the boys and I think about seven or eight of the girls. And uh, the girls are yet to sell, but I've got them listed up for about 150 bucks and the boys have finally moved for 120. So massive dollars there, stoked to get these ones done and uh, they should be pretty easy to post off. Guys, it was just so good to see so many items out of Thursday's Trips to the Thrift video go on to sell. This one here, one of the hard goods that I bought that day, the JVC camcorder. Now, this was good because it came complete with manual and it had all of the different cables in there as well. So it was pretty much a complete set. I had a check for the uh, for the item number here and, and on eBay, it was telling me that the model below was worth about $150. I bought this on Thursday for $36 and I thought that was a good purchase price considering I thought I could get about $180 for it. I took a best offer yet again for this one here. It was $165 that we ended up getting for it and it took about two days to sell. So I've made after fees and posts close to about $100 worth of profit for this one. And I really do think for you guys out there, if you're not doing any form of hard good purchasing, you maybe should consider it because you often get a seven day warranty with the life line and salvo stores, uh, your, your op shops. And um, I think that's really good. You can get home, test it out, make sure it works. If it doesn't, send it back. Um, but there is just so much profit in this category. So I don't often come across hard goods when I'm out in the op shops, although I am always looking. Um, so to find five in Thursday's video was just incredible. I'm going to link Thursday's video into the description below because I really do think it's one that you guys should be watching because there was just so much good stuff that has gone on to sell.
I started selling on eBay, I also built an Instagram page and a YouTube channel. And it's probably the best thing that I've ever done for my reselling business. If you're selling on eBay, if you're watching videos on YouTube, you should be creating yourself an Instagram account and or a YouTube channel. YouTube's a lot of work, a whole lot more than building up an Instagram page, but they are powerful tools to helping you with your business. Now, you can actually actively buy off places like YouTube, you can actively buy off Instagram as well, uh, and building a following just gives you more opportunity to source great items. Now, a perfect case example is Border Town Vintage shooting me a DM on my Instagram page uh, with some really exciting news, actually. They are having a baby and they are cleaning out their reselling room and they want to get rid of their stock. And because of the community that I've been able to build, because they've been watching me on Instagram and on YouTube, they shot me a message and they said, would you like our stock at a, at a really decent price? And I said, absolutely. So we're going to take you through that. But it was the key message here that you really should be doing that if you have a reselling business, if you are selling on eBay, just put a couple of story posts up on your Instagram page, your newly created page, if you don't have one, and just tell people what you're doing and follow people, get, get involved in their world. And then from there, opportunities just like this can present themselves. So if it's not something that you've done before, create a page, create an Instagram account today, add me at the Aussie Flipper, I'll be your first subscriber and your first viewer and your first follower. And uh, it, it could be a really, really big benefit because for me, the opportunities that this been able to give me over the last few months and, and few years has, has been incredible. So let's dive into this box. I will show you some of the stuff I've been able to pick up. So there is a bunch of hats in here that I'm gonna take you through in a second, but I wanted to look out the DVDs and the shoes because they are the three different categories that we've got in this box. And the DVDs are actually a great little mix here. A lot of them, I would say almost half of them, a brand new and sealed, which is excellent. There's a few little bundles in here. We've got seasons one to three of House of Cards, seasons four and five of The Walking Dead. They should do well. A bit of anime as well, brand new and sealed. That should do pretty good for me. Uh, we've got some Yu-Gi-Oh. I'll probably do that as two separate listings, seasons one to three, uh, and then there, yeah, volumes 10 to 12. But like Kardashian season 13, I always like finding seasons that are sort of the higher end, almost at the end of the whole series. Um, they just seem to do better. So to have season 13 of the Kardashians, that's a whole lot better than season one. Um, this pen Marek, it goes for about $35 and it's brand new and sealed. So that one was one, I didn't really know about it, but it actually goes pretty well. And then we've also got Buffy, um, brand new and sealed there. Again, season seven, the last season. Um, Sonic uh, PC collection, that goes for about $40. So that's a good one there as well. And then this Buzz game, uh, Dino Den, that one actually goes for about $30, $35 too. So the collection of DVDs was a really good one. I'm very happy with what we've been able to get there. And then all of these shoes, really good shoes. Actually, these ones right here, these are the Cabalas or Cabellus. Um, they're a pair of women's hiking shoes. It's a brand that I personally hadn't heard of before. It's got the boa lace. It's a women's size seven and they're in like new condition. So I think we can get about $70 to $80 for those ones there. Uh, we've got three pairs of Adidas. Um, basically, well, we've got an Ultra Boost and then we've also got some Solar Glide STs. So there's the Ultra Boost there. And we've got two versions of the Solar Glides. So they're really cool. Some Metcom 4s, they go into about 60 bucks every time. And then we've got the Women's Gel Equation. And these are a pair of Asics running shoes, US size 11. They'll do really well. And we've got the Adidas Predator 19.2s. So awesome, awesome shoes and awesome DVDs with a couple of really good games. And two plush, because you guys know I've got a problem. And then we've also got a bunch of hats here as well. You guys know how much I love selling my hats. So I'm always happy to pick up a big collection like this. It's a real mix of, I guess, motor racing hats, um, sports teams, and uh, beer. And the beer hats actually do really well, all the different uh, beer brands. Uh, we've got a Wild Turkey there. We've got a Pure Blonde up there, Jack Daniels, Jim Beam, uh, VB. So a lot, of, a lot of a mix of all of that. But a couple of notable mentions is actually this one right here. We've got the Bunnings Warehouse Corduroy hat. I know that one goes for about $35. So already that one there was an absolute ripper. This one here, this is actually a Mrs. Brown's Boys hat. It's foolproof dermo. That one was a pretty cool little grab. Um, we've got some corduroy in there as well. And then we've got this one. This is a Brad Haddon Vic Bitter. Um, Brad Haddon number 400 there, fully signed ASICS Cricket Australia hat. So that one should do pretty decently for me as well. There it is there. Um, this one, pretty cool, Carlton Draft Sky Troop hat. So I'm thinking pretty much across the board, I should be able to get about $30 for every single one of these hats. Hats do really well for me, but that wasn't everything. I've also got this mix here as well, and it's very much the same. We've got the sports teams, uh, we've got the beer-related hats, and uh, we've actually got two right there that I deem to be the absolute best of the bunch. We've got a Carlton Blues 
corduroy vintage hat. I know it looks dirty, but this sort of thing can go for upwards of about 80 to to $100. So that's an absolute ripper. And then this one as well should go for similar money. I'm thinking about $50 to $60 for the Cougar Bourbon. Uh, we've got a corduroy hat there as well. That is, that is an absolute relic. So guys, really stoked with this hat collection. Pretty easy to lift, list up. I always put them into a box when they sell to ship them off. Um, but to find 55 hats in this uh, mystery box, I'm pretty stoked. So a big thank you to Border Town Vintage for that collection. I think it's all gonna go on to sell for some great money. So really do appreciate the support. And really guys, it has come from just having a social media presence, having an Instagram page, having a YouTube channel. I can't recommend you guys doing it more. So go ahead, create that page, add me, and uh, yeah, I'll be your first follower. Um, hopefully you enjoyed the video guys. Bit of information in that one, a lot of sold items. And I do wanna link up the video for a trip to the thrift just last Thursday, because so many of them have already gone on to sell as you've seen in this video. Video. So go and check this one out right now um, and hopefully it gives you a few ideas about what to look for. Appreciate you being here guys for another one. Look forward to getting out for a trip to the thrift again on Thursday. We'll see you soon.